Hey guys. Is the stream live? That's the question I have to ask myself every time. Yo, Emilio, welcome back. Yeah, it's live. Okay, now let's promote it. Uh, there should be online shortly. And uh, I need to log into Rome. How's everyone doing? I got myself some jelly and blueberry jelly, butter pancakes. Yo, up! What's up? Okay, there you go. Uh, I'm gonna log in on Rome. Okay, maybe I should not have given them so much in the toaster. I'm trying to figure out a way to preserve. As far as I know, they're playing their rematch today in five minutes. At least that's what I was told. Because there was a pull through which we didn't notice in the live stream. Which was contested by the honey badgers. And um, now we're doing it again. Hey Greece, welcome to the stream. Shouldn't you be focusing on your um, <laughs> baptism of fire? against them again. You can always play against them again and I'll cover the game if you want uh, which from your team. Mm. So, okay, Maximus Decimus is on. I might go silent because I do want to talk with both teams ahead of ahead of the conversation, uh, ahead ahead of the game, because I want to get it sorted out. Sorry, Jack. I am. I missed up the time for by an hour earlier. So uh, <laughs> ended up not defeating Taras.
You know, Dylan, you better be promoting this video or else I'll come for you. And have a nice holiday in California. Uh, the delay is pretty much non-existent on the stream. It's up to your buffering, basically. So let's see if these guys are actually getting online. Um, they're still not online. Corn is on. Okay, they are online, two of them, yeah, they're the same faction, same everything, I have the list right next to me, and uh, they have to play with this very specific army. Pancakes are good, I make good pancakes. with my pancakes. Can you send them a reminder, Dylan? Please. Let's see. Holy crap. That's a lot of games on right now. Okay. 
Ой, ой, ой. Let's see where the hell they are at. Um, God dang it. They're not here yet. So meanwhile, if you guys want to send in a couple of memes, feel free. Memes are uh, always appreciated. Except you, Dylan. No memes from you. I was pinged. Here is a meme. Oh god. Okay. I am hoping that they open it soon. But they don't seem to be anywhere. They're moving in. Okay, I'm muting myself. I'll be back in a second, Jiffy.
Okay guys, uh, they're setting up, we're almost done and we're about to start soon. So, that's the same army, cool. Checking if they have the same exact armies. Um, Let's see. So wait. Um, no wait. Uh, the first one is that. Alright. Okay. Hey friendly crusader, how are you doing my man? Welcome to the stream. I'm trying to figure out how to uh, view their armies because there are slight problems. If you don't mind, I'm gonna hop over Twitch and watch you and the other guy at the same time. Who's also streaming it? Uh, Friend Crusader. Or it's uh, another stream. I don't mind at all. Ah, all right, no problem. Thanks for thanks for stopping by anyway. All right. <sighs> Hopefully it goes smoothly. Oh, cheers, man. Thanks for the sub. I appreciate it. Very appreciated, buddy. Okay, I can check this now. Um, so, four... Um, one second. Uh, again, I need to go in the, in the room. Be right back. 
Um, one second, guys. And I'm back. Okay, hopefully the game will start in any second now, any moment now, any second, and uh, we should be just about to start. And uh, we'll see where that goes. We have a big disaster in the tournament over here, but we cannot hear him. Um, and the game started. Fantastic. And there it is, Carthage. Uh, Carthage Boyai and um, at Egypt attacking Dacia, Nabatia and Arveni. So it's going to be interesting. Well, also guys, based on Friendly Crusaders friendly conversation, if any one of you still hasn't subscribed, please feel free to do so. It's free of charge. Hashtag cheese. All right. So the army composition should be the same. And we'll see where that leads us. I think really hot all of a sudden. It seems the sun is getting at the right angle. Oof. Friendly Crusader, you are a legend. I will buy you a beer. If you're legally allowed to drink a beer. If not, it's a Rouge beer. Checking if both sides are happy. <laughs> You're a nice man. Thank you. 
if because of you we end up getting <laughs> a really good um, boost today. Well, my man, I'll I'll do a stream as you decide it should be. Like you'll get to decide what I play uh, and everything I I do in the game. Yeah, let's say if we get like thirty subs today. <laughs> If that happens, legit, like <laughs> it would be crazy. Anyway, how's everyone doing? And uh, we're going up. What my phone is ringing. So let's see. The army comps seem pretty much the same. Yep, they should be okay. They're moving um, again. Let's just double check for sake. Uh, so Gate I have two noble swords, four Dacian bowmen, they have four armored spears and um, four axemen and then fluxmen, they have uh, four fluxmen, yeah that's fine. They also have the spear horsemen, that's absolutely okay. With regards to Nabatia, uh, let's see, Nabatian archers, that's four of them. Torax pikemen uh, over there. Uh, they have those Leffy on the walls. Where is the rest of the Nabatia? Oh, there they are. Uh, Nabatian desert hoplites. There's one. Then one Nabatian swords. Four Nabatian axes. Uh, no, six Nabatian axes. And um, Nabatian swordsmen. Yeah, Nabatian Levy one. And then the rest are Nabatian swordsmen. Good, that's alright, and our Veni are also, they look okay, we have two old, yeah, that looks absolutely fine, and we can get started, let's see where they go, they're going pretty similar tactic as before, they are not putting forward, uh, Siege towers, but they have uh, the bowmen ready and waiting. Lots of siege towers. Mm. The uh, Carthaginian army is in reserve. The Onager is in reserve. Uh, Celtic light horses uh, for Carthage. And uh, Egyptian infantry on the sides uh, doing very well there. 18 people. How y'all doing? I can't believe I'm talking like uh, uh, this south. Okay, it seems that these guys have uh, rewatched the uh, clip because they have adapted their their strategy. They're not over committing down this side. Hey Joseph, how are you doing, my man? Welcome to the stream. This is definitely going to be much harder for Carpe Venom this time round than last time because their strategies has been discussed in I think three different type, three videos, my live stream and two other videos cover them. So it's going to be quite interesting to see what happens uh, now because they have to change their technique slightly if they are to win as the others have had their time to prepare. Cretan archers and Celtic bowmen are placed very, very wide, uh, very open preparing for the worst so there is an artillery piece over here an artillery piece over there and i believe there is the desert onager that is up all the way up there by gloomy corn and that's going to be an interesting choice uh the onager over here of course also an interesting choice we saw last time the celtic ballista sorry the ballista overall is my preferred method of assault but of course to each uh, their own and to each individual however they wish to play it i actually going to increase a little bit the in-game sound because it is really wrong i do enjoy myself some in-game sound and uh okay they are preparing they're putting down their units having a nice discussion where everything is let's see where this leads us to
Anyone has got a fix? Yes, Dylan, there is a very special button. It's called unmute yourself. There should be, <laughs> jokes aside, there should, you should unmute yourself because uh, I think by default it's muted. Do I have five minutes? Um, uh, I don't have five minutes right now, but I, I could. Like, uh, can you message me? Felt, uh, fr filthy. Friendly Crusade there. Can you message me on Discord and explain what you need? Dylan, can you try reinstalling your uh, Discord? That sometimes works, or else go into phone permissions and um, check if it has permission to actually run. I can Iron Fist. The situation seems very tense, to be honest with you all. This still hasn't started? No, Greece, it hasn't. It's been 40 minutes and it hasn't started. I've pushed back. I'm grateful I pushed back my live stream by an, uh, 30 minutes. I might push it back l later if we're not close to be done. They're taking their sweet time. If they can't promote you in Discord because self promo there is broken, I tried to promote you in another server. Thank you, man. That's alright. <laughs> Greece. You sly, sly old man. You sly daddy. Um, friendly Crusader, there is no problem, man. Don't worry too much about it. Is it one of those services that you need permission to promote yourself? From the admins and the admins never give. GG man. The AI in Warhammer is it's better than Rome, but uh, it's harder when you're playing against uh, humans. Way, way harder. Yeah, friendly crusader, I know, I know the feeling. Because I've, I've been on certain groups where I was allowed to promote for a couple of weeks and then all of a sudden someone noticed I was sharing and then... Uh, of course he did. Of course he did. Essence always abandons you for routing units. I mean, who wouldn't really? Okay, uh, Iron Fist. Absolutely fine. I can go over the army comps if you so wish. Um, I mean, it's quite a basic uh, three basic armies that we have. Um, we have the Carthaginian, the Egyptian, and the Boyais who are attacking with uh, Celtic Warriors on the walls, of course, and they just basically have Celtic Warrior spam and Sword Follower spam with a little bit of Oatsworn in the middle. They also have their Celtic Bowmans. So basically, the Boyai are going to be the shock units that will break through the shield formations. And then uh, they're running forward with their Celtic Bowmen, who I assume to try and burn that Ballista as fast as possible. Then over here you have the Egyptian Torx Swordsman spam holding and defending the Onager over there. And they also have some Galatian Swords, they have the cheap Egyptian infantry which will do a lot of damage. I think their main focus with regards to the attackers, they, they're looking at using Carthage as their coup de grace. Because they have, oof, they've hidden the uh, Barian Swordsman back here, they have the General hidden back here, and uh, Noble Fighter. So these guys are going to be their shock uh, towards the end. And they have Scutarii, and I do believe they have, um, they have Scutarii, they have Samite Warriors, and Cretan Archers, and then they have just basically been infantry, which all of them are super heavy infantry, which you use to break the walls, uh, break the walls of spears and shields, etc. With regards to defense, they have, um, you know, uh, lots of uh, cheap units from Nabatea, and lots of axe warriors, swordsmen etc they do have a decent units uh, from the arveni where they have lots of celtic warriors and they do have chosen swords which are a fantastic units towards the end 
Um, then there is the Fluxman, uh, which from um, Maximus Decimus back here, uh, or no, Gloomy Cry, yeah. Decimus. Uh, basically, these guys are a fantastic unit to charge in, but they will dive a lot to archers. Oh man, dude, thank you so much, Ranger Crusader. Holy night, uh, Sir Swadus, how are you doing? Uh, welcome to the stream, buddy. Um, yeah, so they basically, the defense, most of their units are um, good against, uh, for holding, uh, but not really good in prolonged periods of fighting, except, of course, their spears and their um, like heavy armored units, like the, such as the Oatsworn. They are doing the smart thing this time around. They're placing their archers up here. The problem is that they are overlapping their units a little bit too much, and uh, it's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass for them to deal with it. Um, so, uh, friend Crusader, I do owe you a beer now, and uh, tell me how I can get you a beer. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll refill you the money for a beer, who knows. Um, yeah, there you go. Um, uh, so they have their lots, lots of their missiles over there, uh, it's going to be interesting. The assault on the wall is going pretty basic, they did destroy the ballista. Um, why is the ballista Hello. gone, you'll ask me? Oh, who's there? Who's actually can you talking? hear me? Oh yes, we can hear you, Dylan. That was scary. Oh boy, finally. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Friendly Crusader. I am just spectating this battle. I'm seeing what they're doing and uh, seeing what's gonna happen. As this is from the Colosseum tournament. Uh, Dylan, can you hear me still? Yes, we can hear you. We can hear you moving on your chair. Oh, sorry. That's all right. It's, it's not a chair. It's a. I'm leaning against a dresser. Okay. So it seems, guys, that uh, Dylan, on his travels, has finally gotten his voice to break, and now he is uh, actually maturing. <laughs> Is oh, thank you, friend the Crusader. All right, uh, thank you anyway for your help. Um, maybe one day we'll share what got together. Um, so they're taking down the walls. I, I think they're doing the attack in the same exact pattern. Okay, maybe not. They're actually pushing one of their Egyptian infantry up here, maybe to take down that wall, which would be uh, in the ass for the defenders because they will have to fall back quite a bit if that is does happen. The wall is going down. Perhaps this cult quarry should break the wall down this way. Hey, Leopards. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Oh, yeah. Everyone does. So Everyone what does. did I miss? Oh, you missed a lot, my, f my friend. You missed a lot. I'm not, not sure what you're referring to, but uh, you missed a lot. Talking about the game. You Talking missed everything. Oh, boy. Sometimes yeah, my mic fucking explodes. I'm sorry, Emilio, it's just exposed for you, I'm sure. Excitement to see you. So they're actually still going to try and fight for the wall. Um, it seems the attackers have adapted slightly. This Nebatine swordsman is going to get crushed partially by the wall when this wall goes down. They're not taking that many losses charging in, but it, yeah, they're, uh, yeah, they're actually going up this way, and that's going to cause some trouble for them. Why haven't they learned from mistakes? Don't hold the wall. Well, it seems they are... They're not holding the wall as much as they did last time. But, yeah, uh, I guess. Oh, half Still of this unit holding. died. Half of this unit just died. Point blank. And now the Caltecores are charging in. Hey, Spademan, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Um, you're watching Linksy, and we're currently doing a... Uh, spectating the Colosseum battle between Carpa Venom and Honey Badger's Brigade. The rematch. The rematch, because there was a problem with the uh, Carpe Venom pushing through, which uh, unfortunately uh, invalidates the game, so we have to replay it. But then again, it's fortunate for us, because we're going to get to see quite an epic game again. Uh, they're very good teams. Yeah. Hello, Noah Henius on guard. What's up, my man? Welcome to the stream. I am. I know I heinously pronounced your name. I apologize ahead of time. Let's say uh, hello, Noah. That's that's easier. So they're charging in with their Galatian swords and uh, yeah, it's just Galatian swords and Libyan and Egyptian infantry. Sorry, not Libyan infantry. 
and they're charging in now it's interesting that the defense of course is not being held as much as it was held previously yeah yeah we're all friends here we're all friends here <laughs> friendly crusade yeah no we we bully dylan So it seems. See, I don't know how to mute YouTube, so I just hear this in the background. I d don't don't let us uh, hear it, please. <laughs> no, no, I don't think it. I don't think you can do one like, but I can hear like a faint noise. A faint noise. Okay, so ooh ooh, Nabati in general over here. This is massive. This is absolutely massive. Oh boy. These uh, b bowmen are dead. These oh that's two whole units, Celtic bowmen. Huge hit for the attackers. Yep, but then again the general might die here and. Yeah, there comes the Carthaginian. Their light cav. Yeah, the general actually got in and got out. He didn't. How many kills? Uh, that's a lot. That's sixty-one kills. Basically, two thirds of the unit gone, right off the bat. Uh, it's really good. <laughs> I, 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 I kind of get it. I'm sure you get it quite often, man. I am sure you get it quite often. Danish people are the best. Yeah, I know some pretty nice Danish people. So he's actually running with the old sworn general, but he should really pull back at that point. There's no point. Uh, that was that was fantastic. That, uh, who's doing that? that was gloomy, a good, good gloomy corn. General, yep. Yeah. Gloomy corn over there doing fantastic. These desert levy on the wall are going to be a pain in the ass to deal with. They should deal with them um, quite as soon as possible, because otherwise it's going to be a pain in the ass. And these archers are going to wreck these troops down here. The historic swordsmen are not going to be having a good time. The walls are breaking really quickly though, um, that they're being set up. I don't know why they gave up. They could have broken this and caused a lot of damage. It seems they gave up that fight. The Cretan archers are in position and are firing from the rear. Friendly Crusader. It's not Denmark. It's not real. It's uh, it's Netherlands that aren't real. Get Wait. it right the first time. What? I'm confused. What did I say? You didn't say anything. It was Friendly Crusader. But Netherlands are real as well. <laughs> they do exist. No, they're not. It's what? just like Wyoming. Nobody knows about it. Everyone's just making fake lies. Okay. Yes. I just said fake lies. It was like early in the morning. Dude, isn't Australia like on another planet? Yeah, Australia is a completely different planet. Yeah. I've seen Denmark. It's a beautiful country. Okay, now they're. Po oh, if they do actually create the skill box, it's going to be brutal. It seems they're learning. Yeah, they've learned quite a bit, but... That's one of the things about the rematch, is that if Carthaginum loses this, it'll be because... The others have watched the video so many times. Because they learned what to do, and they learned their mistakes, which is fine, but... Yeah. Of course, uh, I mean, there's that disadvantage. No, I'm, I'm from, uh, <laughs> from Malta. Uh, no, I'm <laughs> European. What are you laughing about, Dylan? He thinks you're from Finland. I'd love to be from Finland, man. That place is amazing. As we're saying that though, the the attackers are making really good progress uh, coming into the city, and now they're starting to trim these heavy heavy bowmen. I mean, they haven't really lost that much uh, in this assault. Yeah, they're sort of blobbing up their bowmen though. If you look at it. Yeah, and mo yeah, I actually talked about that, and because of that, they're not going to be firing that much. Honestly, they've placed too many bowmen in the front. What are these Gallic hunters doing? Oh, that's a misclick. That's a misclick. No, it no, he said Malta. It's a small island south of Italy. If you're from da Denmark, Noah, you know where Malta is. We're both... He said Moldova. Oh, Moldova. They ride to school on polar bears in Finland. No, they give birth to polar bears. Polar bears. Okay, they're actually losing the missile fight. They're actually losing the missile fight over here. The Nabataean heavies? Yeah, Nebadine heavies and the Dacians over here, they actually got... Uh, they're blobbed up fighting against Cretans. And the Cretans. I mean the Cretans as well are getting a little bit 
hammered. Wait. The Cretans are having a field day, though. Wait, one of the Cretans actually died here. No. Did they? Or did they only bring three archers? No, they did bring four archers. Where are the Cretans? Oh no, they're here. They did. They, they actually won the fight. If it's brown, lay down. If it's black, fight back. If it's white, say goodnight. Rules running into a bear. <laughs> that's that's nice. Oh, this is a beautiful shot. This is an absolute beautiful shot. Oh, thank God, that already. They actually charge forward their X-Men into these Egyptian infantry. I think it's because they're getting P left and right. Yeah. But this artillery here is doing wonders because they're so blobbed up. That is up. also a winnable battle. That, um, that engagement to Egyptian infantry versus a Nabatea Max. It's actually Galatian it's really swords and Egyptian infantry. Ooh, over here these Celtic warriors are getting absolutely peeled from the rear. Ooh, yeah, this... Being careful on the walls there. The uh, defense is being hyper-defensive today and they're really staying back. Uh, compared with last time, where they, at this point they had committed 90% of their units. Um, yeah. I don't think this one's going to go to four minutes left in the game. Yeah. These Cretan archers are getting a little bit peppered down. They are actually retreating from that area because of this uh, cover fire. But it's going to be very... Yeah, these guys should not have uh, come here because they're very open. Whereas on this side, they were doing very well. Seems the missile fight is not going in favor of the um, in front for the attackers as last time, yeah. which was their main reason why they won so easily. But at the same time, if they do decide to tr tr two or three volleys into these desert hoplites, they would break, and that would allow them to charge in, uh, break the uh, Nabatine X warriors. They should keep fighting. Because at the Look moment, at the balance of power. I can't tell. Is it in the attackers' favor? It isn't way in the attackers' favor right now. They are doing wonders. They are absolutely doing wonders. And yeah, but look, look over here. Look at this. Look at this. These Celtic warriors absolutely getting peppered down, and these sword followers just doing wonders, killing unit after unit. Yeah, this unit just lost thirty men for free. Uh, it's insane. I mean, Carpa Venom have completely crushed. Um, Honey Badgers in the first two games uh, they played, yeah. but now the thing is uh, Honey Badgers have really trained and prepared themselves and uh, so it's going to be interesting what happens and how this game will go. I think go. it's going to be a better match than the last one. Yeah, way better. But then again, the Honey Badgers are still doing uh, s I have. I, I don't want to call them stupid. They're not stupid mistakes, but they're simple mistakes that they should fix. Yeah. Never ever do this to your archers. I mean, look at this. These guys should have won. They had space to put two la layers of archers, and all of this will be dead. But instead, they're losing. These Cretan archers. I mean, they're yeah. They you're right. They're dead. But 127 kills, 130 kills on archers. That's insane. That's an entire unit of archers that will never shoot again, and they got more kills than that. Um, but again, these Cretan archers did the damage they needed. But there's more archers left, and these onagers. A good onager shot here will ruin that. Yeah, they still have at least three more Cretans and two and a half Celtic Bowmen. What I would honestly Maybe. do is I would send this uh, tortoise all the way here, break the wall here, and charge in. Because that would do absolute one. How did these guys die? How did that happen? No clue. I'll be right back. Friendly fire of sorts. Hey, and welcome to the stream. The Egyptian infantry over here are getting a beating. The sword followers are not doing as well as they should be doing, but then again, they are actually chewing through uh, armored spears, which are very expensive units. Uh, I mean, they do have 98 melee defense and axe warriors, which are again the like better units that Dacia does have. And over here, it's really important that they break through. Their archers are not being used to great effect. They should be killing these Galatian swords and eliminating any threat from that side that they, they're getting. Oh, we need to... Uh, you should speak to Captain, he'll fix it for you. Fuck with this video, I'm gonna be real mad. And what sense, uh, friend crusader? This video is doing very good, I must say. 
Today has been a really good day. I've been getting 40 views per hour, 40 to 50 views per hour, which is uh, really good for me considering I usually get 10 to 20 on a good day. Oh, I don't even get, I don't even earn money yet. I don't even, um, oh, sorry. I don't even uh, get ads on my videos yet because I am not at a thousand subs. Once I get a thousand subs, I will be able to monetize my channel. Yeah, not in 15 minutes, Ian. It's going to be in um, at 7.30 or even later. This game needs to finish first and then I'll do the multiplayer battles. Yeah, Frenzy okay, Crusader. Okay. I, welcome back, Dylan. Uh, I don't earn any money from this. I'm doing this purely out of love for the game and the community. Holy crap. What you missed over here is that these Dacian bows are getting absolutely ripped to shreds. These uh, Nabatine archers, they're all dying. These uh, Cretan archers got over 100 kills in a few volleys. Hmm. Uh, Friendly Crusader, if you do want to support the channel, I do have links and I have a Patreon and I have a Streamlabs uh, donation link if you do want to do that. But it's 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 on it's Twitch. It's easier to give uh, support because you need like 50 so, uh, so followers to be able to even start monetizing. A very hectic defense, Chris. Yes, I agree. Me is broke. That's absolutely fine. I'm just you know throwing in a little bit of a uh, uh, what you call it shameless self pro promotion. <laughs> These Galatian swords are doing wonderful over there. Um, there needs to be a unit that blocks these axe warriors and these. Oh, what's happening? The artillery is trying to burn down that onager. The onager should hide here. And yeah, I I agree. They they don't know what they're doing. They're losing a lot of their archers for free. Um, which yeah, they're still making big mistakes like last time. Yeah. And the, like if you see these desert hoplites, they're about to break. And once those guys break, these archers are... I mean, what are these archers doing? These archers charged in. Maybe they're out of ammo? No, they're not. Yeah, they're not. Um, they're pulling them out. These Galatian swords should just charge in. There's nothing holding them. Yeah, in fact, they are. They're charging in. Um, Let's just hope there's no pull through so we don't do this again. Yeah, I'm, I'm being very careful to make sure there's no pull through. This is not a pull through. I mean, this is just a melee, a massive melee. But these archers, this is massive for the attackers winning this. Yeah, Car Carpophenum is absolutely stomping the assault. Uh, these Carpophenum Libyan is a pretty good team. So. They are. They're very good. Um, okay, the defense is sending everything it has to try and block this. But they're not moving these archers out of place. Lumicorn's not paying attention. Not at all. I think he's occupied elsewhere. But uh, that's big. This this was a big thing. Because the pikes over here were holding the assault from happening. And, you know, the pike stacking with the Napitians uh, was just doing wonders. Now with the missiles in the rear of these Dacian bowmen and them losing that outcrop, they can really properly heavily push on these walls. Maybe even get one of those siege towers to come here. Uh, they're... Ooh... What is this? There are spears. Oh, these spear horsemen are trying to be sneaky, but they're not managing to be so. Um, you see, both these teams are really good, but one of it really just comes down to who makes the most mistakes and how big those mistakes are. Yeah, exactly. That's for ex for example, right now, um, these Cretan archers are getting absolutely wrecked because there's so much extra firepower. But if they just move slightly out of range, they would be able to help by killing these chosen swordsmen and Nabataeans. And then these guys can finish off the archers. Then again, uh, we're, we're seeing just so much damage being done. And the archers, this is all the archers that the defense has, with the exception of the couple of uh, Gallic hunters back in the rear. So we're seeing... Uh, that's fantastic, uh, Ian. Glad you had fun. Yeah, this is not looking good for the defenders again. Not at all, no. The balance it's kind of, of the exact same mistakes as last time, too. Yeah, they just moved the, the battle from down here to up there. Again, they are doing more damage to the missiles than they did last time. Because the, the missiles for the attack are running out. I mean, they are down to their last few units of missiles. But... Yeah. That, in the end, they had like, all their missiles last time, so... Yeah. 
oh, these Celtic Warriors are coming back here to throw their pila, but they're gonna get, like these guys are prepared for them. Uh, the spear horsemen I were seen and they're charging in. I'm not entirely sure what's this happening over there. These uh, Celtic bowmen are not getting in position. These spear. What are these guys doing? They're gonna get an error. Oh. Yeah, they're running back. They're running back. The artillery actually shoot them away as well. Oh yeah, defenders have artillery. Are there Hellenic Royal Guards? I don't see any Hellenic Royal Guards. I must say though, Egypt is actually almost out of troops. They shouldn't have Hellenic Royal Guards because they didn't have that last time. So. Yeah, they did. They don't have it. It's Grand Palingsi, afraid the Crusader. Okay. Yeah, these guys are losing a lot. Again, I, I can't really say, because, I mean, the, the troops are training really well, but again, these are the Egyptian infantry that stormed the walls. They're still fighting. These, this whole axe warrior, uh, this whole Celtic warrior back here, 18 kills, and they've just absolutely murdered by those Celtic warriors over there. Now that those Celtic warriors can get into the these lines and kill those armored spears, that will be yeah. GG. Well, what is happening here? Okay, these uh, Torax swordsmen are pulling back. They emptied their pila, and chosen swords are coming in. These uh, Torax spikes are actually weakening uh, quite a bit. The Libyan infantry. Can you? St Hey, Tuckleberry Finn, how are you? Or Confused Butter, the Dalla Toast. Uh, what are you eating, uh, Dylan? We can hear everything. Sorry, it's my Tic Tacs. Oh, my man. Noah. Noah. <laughs> my man. I feel like... I like how someone is eating. Yeah. Dylan loves his food. So do I, actually. I just had pancakes and steak. So I had a, quite a lovely uh, lunch. Slash dinner. I had pancakes for breakfast. Did you make them? Or did you go to IHOP? They were ego. Oh god. We put them in the microwave for a minute and a half and they're nice and good, nice and toasty. Mm hmm. Okay, the attack, uh, the, the attack is faltering here as the, the defense decided to charge forward. But there again, they're committing so many units to this side, their reserves are depleting. And there is uh, the archers from here are still shooting. Also, just to keep in mind, the onagers here still have almost full ammo. So if they do want to torture them, if they get these remainder archers, it's it's easy GG. Yeah, oh. At the moment, yeah. Because once that onager comes in, all of this is wiped out. These mercenary x warriors are dying. This this is really. Uh, Honestly, um, I can see, I can imagine like currently Carpovinum like ho wishing they can just put their units here and just charge in, but they're probably scared from actually being um, called out again for. Yeah, it's not a pull through if they were to do it, genuinely, because there is more than enough space. That's their units, and they would yeah, have been. Yeah, but they don't want to. They don't want to risk it. In case yeah. maybe the pathfinding glitches and they go through the units. So. Yeah. And that, I mean, that is a shame also, because it, it, it is uh, ruining the possibility of the game going in certain directions, because quite possibly uh, Carpe Venom is playing exceptionally defensive compared to their normal, and we've, we're seeing it, they're playing insanely defensive compared to their normal non-stop aggression. Yeah, if you're looking at this, it kind of looks like it can go either way at this point. Yes and no, because the balance of power is 60% in favor of the attackers. And yeah. again, even though we're in defense, there is a Discord, yes. Uh, let me invite you to the Discord. Uh, let's send an invite. Uh, anyone who wants to join the Discord, uh, this is the Discord. Hey, small team, man. How are you doing? Welcome. Um, welcome. It's been a long time. Okay, the onagers are coming in. It seems the archers. Are they out of ammunition? There are a couple of archers here and there, but they're being broken really fast. And with that onager, all of this will be melted in instance, if not uh, faster. Cycle charges over here from the sword followers into the spear walls. 
and the archers are just gonna start destroying those Gallic hunters over there the artillery starting its bombardment its non-stop bombardment into those thorax uh, pikes over there and those thorax pikes falling will mean the fall of this whole defense because they are the uh oh what? they charged in wait what is happening these thor these thorax swordsmen over here are routing but now these thorax swordsmen can just run down this way can they no, there are a couple of units. Okay. Oh, okay. The artillery war started. Um, oh, that was a really good hit. It's unfortunate it didn't burn it. They're getting really good hits. Uh, Carpavinum's uh, artillery is at 80 kills, whereas... I mean, they're both at 80 kills. But, oh, that was a good shot. That was a good shot. They're actually... Yeah, they're actually winning the fight over here. They forced the onager here from uh, Nabatia to pull back. And Nabatia doesn't have a good angle on. No. Oh, if they shoot another one in here, this is going to be beautiful. Please shoot. Please shoot. I, I, oh, come on, please. Oh, my God. That's... No, they were forced to pull back. They were forced to pull back. Oh, no. Wow, they, they, they purposefully stopped to dodge the arrows. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. That's, that's big brain. Yeah, and now over here they're just using their pila. They're melting the remainder of the unit. Uh, Deja, Gatia are pretty much out. Nabatia are almost dead. We've seen this before already. This is the point that they were before in the other game, and they are dying. Yeah, right now it's only 32 minutes left instead of like 20. I can't get donation on stream, uh, Noah. Uh, wait, this is the link to the donations. You should wait for him to stream Warhammer or some other campaign. Then you can delete his army. Yeah, if I stream a campaign, if you do delete enough money, you can. Uh, uh, if you donate enough money, you can actually delete my my entire campaign file in front of me. You yes, can delete my armies. My uh, I know. D listen, dude. I uh, my brain is 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 intense. I mean, the 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 gameplay here with the onager was absolutely amazing. And now the thing is, the heavy units are coming in. The Scutaria, the uh, Libyan infantry, Semite warriors, the noble fighters. This is going to be absolutely crazy. Look at the melee over here. These flexmen are charging in and out, uh, but they're not getting good connections. Cause how is the um, how is our burning slide? I mean, they're not being attacked, but frankly, they did take a lot of damage. They lost like three or four units, which is a lot. Um, so the Celtic Warriors over here, uh, yeah, the, okay, there's a little bit of a lag spike. Uh, these Gallic Hunters have been pushed back. This is Carpe Venom with her vengeance coming back and uh, whew, absolutely insane. We're talking a little bit of banter, they're like, oh, if we're doing a rematch, we're just going to beat him even more. <laughs> they're doing better than last time, I would say. I would agree with you. I would game. agree with you. Okay, um, uh, I'm actually going to have to fix the timing on my other live stream, which was meant to be scheduled just after this. Um, I don't see any pull through either. That's the good thing. Um, I think, uh, also, I mean, the pull through was possibly in the heat of the moment but again pulling through is not ac acceptable and it is an apps oh ho, ho, ho. that's that is this is uh are those what i think they are nebity next warriors heavy armored spears hundreds of kills hundreds of kills it's not going well for the attackers. Oh, sorry, for the defenders whatsoever. I mean, they're getting a few kills with their own artillery, but their artillery should be pulled, like, here. And they should be point-blank shooting into these guys. Because, yeah, I mean... It should be an artillery point-blank war. Yeah. I mean, they're doing some damage on these Celtic bowmen, but... You never want to... Sh oh, yeah, this is this is over here. Even these Gallic hunters are breaking. Oh, that's why they're frightened. There's the Sobek cultists. Oh. That's why they're breaking so fast. That's brilliant. Those Sobek cultists are doing so much damage. Did they have Sobek cultists last time? Yes, yes, they did. They did. Okay. Just trying to remember. 
It's all good, man. It's all good. Yeah, wait, it doesn't take... Wait. Over. It only takes PayPal? No. It, I use my debit card on it. You can... I think it only uh, I think it only gets to my PayPal. I don't uh, go into my Visa, but don't worry, man. Thanks anyway. The Totka thoughts what counts. Hopefully, I'll get to a thousand subs. Oh, that was a good shot. It did burn one of the onagers. Once I get to a thousand subs, I'll have the YouTube uh, super chats, which are what every live streamer oh, dreams of. Yeah, this this is. How many kills that onager got? This has 200 kills and this one has 100. I mean, their onager, onager is doing well, but I mean, these archers, these look look at those archers drop. Yeah, this onager is is out. But again, this onager broke so much, and look at the balance of power is just floating in favor of the attackers. Thank you, Noah. Thanks for dropping by. Really appreciate it. Uh, hope to see you around more often. Our friend should be sending some support over. There isn't any support that they have left. They should be falling back at this point. They should be falling back to do a defense somewhere back here. They got wiped. Once again, yeah, these flexmen are dying. These number and axes, okay, these number and axes are gonna get a few kills on these onagers crew, which is breaking. The Sobek the cultists. It can. There's another onager. There are two more left. No, no, but I think no, no they, all you need is four per, uh, per, yeah, they have five. You need just four. Oh, so I can get one. Yeah, but still, that's that's enough. A good onager shot will do miracles. But again, they still have, oh my god, yeah, they still have a lot of ammunition. They finally started breaking through this side, and yeah, more, more units are being thrown here. I mean, this arrow tower has done wonders, but... Uh, the, I, I know I can feel them like I can feel them saying oh we can just go through here and uh, they're not going through it simply because they they're thinking uh, we'll get called out or something yeah. which is uh, it, and if it's the same person who does the pull through yeah then that's even more of a problem. yeah so the historic swordsmen 200 kills on them they're doing very well I mean they're absolutely surrounded this Qutaria unit over here is now chewing through these warriors and uh, more more Troops are just piling up. Carthage is actually com uh, combating its army now. Uh, Egypt is, is out of men. Well, no, they don't. Thank you, my man. Thank you, Vita Van Lene, for the subscription. I really did not get that right. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're at 410 subscribers, guys. Went up four subs. Thank you very much, guys. What's the giveaway at 500? Troy. Troy, but that's exactly. <laughs> I, I, I. Well, I don't. I'm not sure what giveaway give I could give away the DLC. Give away the DLC. I could give away a DLC, yeah. But the Amazonian DLC. I'm gonna buy it. Uh, I, I will see. Okay, these Carrion X Men are in here. Where are the Sobek cultists? These Sobek cultists have been killed. Uh. Oh, yes, have they been killed? Yes, they have been killed, and that is a really big win for the defense. So, so cultists cause so much damage to morale. These uh, Scutari and sword followers have been doing work. They're doing so much work. Okay, a charge over here from the spear horsemen trying to plug the gap that's forming. Desert hoplites coming in as well, but again, it's it doesn't look good for the defense. The last unit of bowmen over here getting picked off one by one. And uh, we, I mean, can't call the game yet, but I think we can safely say it's going massively in favor of Carpe Venom. Definitely. The Nebati in general is outside the settlement trying to figure out something to do out here and seeing what they can kill. They could kill some uh, units out here. Uh, where is the general for Carthage? Then General for Cartridge is over here. General's bodyguard. Part of the deal was that the um, the funds for the attackers have to be reduced for one person by 500 gold. So he wasn't able to bring the noble cavalry. What are you fiddling with, Dylan? We can hear everything, by the way. I know you can. 
do you want to be muted and kicked off? No. Good. All right. I mean, it's, it's incredible that the entire battle is being fought over here, but uh, at this point, even uh, even the old sworn are being committed in. Yeah. Holding that is kind of just a death trap, because now you have to hold multiple flanks. Yeah, they have to hold. I mean, they still will have to hold multiple flanks. I think now at this point, they have to hold here or else, because if they fall back, they'll have to hold too many areas, and they can't really yeah. do, deal with that. They don't have enough troops. I think they should have fought a little bit here. They were winning at the start, and then when they started losing the missile fight, they should have pulled back, held this gap, held this gap, and held here. And that would have given them quite an edge. They still do have the Onager, which is... Uh, is it doing something? I mean, it possibly can, but these bowmen over here are prepared with ammunition. And if the attackers do notice, they will be able to burn it quite easily. More Chosen are being committed. These uh, Torx Swordsmen are doing a uh, good job at holding. Oat Sworn from Disclaimable holding the line as well. Desert Hoplites are breaking. Uh, yeah, I mean, everything's being committed here. And uh, the Arrow Tower is finally being neutralized ever so slightly. It's being held back by these Spear Horsemen from Maximus Decimus. Charge his troop back by his cav. He's trying to just do, get the charge bonus ac equipped on the Scutaria over there, but uh, it's not going to do much at this point, Joseph. Yeah, the arrow tower is being neutralized. Uh, the troop, the sword followers, has gotten through, and they are rear charging these noble swords, and that rear charge is going to do a big debuff as that attack in the rear is a massive, massive debuff. Again, I would yeah, send another awesome unit. Yeah, I mean, there isn't... I mean, there's still back here Libyan infantry uh, there is noble fighters which still haven't bloodied their blade and these noble fighters could possibly take all of this on their own yeah with smart players this can be won very easily agreed peel has been thrown in uh, but uh, there's of course that onager which needs to be taken care of the scutarii coming in throwing in some pila and locking in with these swordsmen uh, lots of the Pila getting stuck. This is amazing, actually. I've never seen it before. Pila getting stuck in the Onager over there, and that's uh, being a pain in the ass for the uh, the fans. The Old Sworn General. That's even the attacker's Onager. Yeah. So, yeah, exactly. I mean, a couple of the Pila are coming in, but they're falling into one unit. The Scutari are breaking with 60 over there. Uh, they're quite surrounded, I must admit. Archers from the Numidian Bowmen over here firing into the general unit. Actually, they're getting a few kills on this Onager, and they're going to force one of them to... Uh, actually, only need three. The rest are just extras. The only thing that can really win this for them is, like, Arverni's elite troops. Getting 700 kills each. I mean, that's the only thing I can uh, foresee in happening. Spear Horseman charging in, and uh, Scutiarii. These guys are still fighting, I mean... These Horsemen, uh, where are they? 57 kills, I mean, they've been really engaged and haven't done much. The Noble Cavalry from Nabatea still hasn't gotten that many more kills since the start. So, it doesn't look yeah. great. Doesn't look great at all for the defense. It's just the sheer amount of infantry the attackers still have no longer the missile advantage yeah there's there's there is nothing they they, they lost the missile advantage they lost the uh, numbers advantage they they are really just playing for time now they are just playing for time and they don't even get that luxury anymore I mean if they do win this this has to be a time victory they need to delay that much yeah 19 minutes worth and 19 minutes is more than enough to assault Thank you a lot, uh, Spademan. Thanks for coming by, and I, I hope you have a lovely day. Take care, bud, and thanks for the sub. Oh, wow, we're at 412. Damn, friendly crusader, my man. He's a friendly crusader. 
you, but much respect. Good friend. Though I, I do know that those Osworn and um, Gates noble swords are gonna hold quite a while. Yeah, but keep in mind there's more Torx swordsmen, Libyan infantry, uh, noble fighters for the attackers. They still have ammunition, they have variant swordsmen with full ammo, they have Pila, they have archers, they, they have all the tools they need to do. The defenders need to engage their own swords so then they can um, defend against the wave of infantry. And then in the end, when it's just, you know, smaller amounts of infantry, their own sword has like 300 kills each. Yeah, but e even that, even that, I mean, there's still two Oatsworn left for the attackers and the noble fighters. That's three Oatsworn. And look at this. Look at these Flaxmen, for example. They're just dying f for no reason. <laughs> Why did you pull them all? Falcon are really good if they are shot. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, everyone on the stream seems to agree that this game is over because <laughs> everyone's leaving. <laughs> How many viewers has it hit? Uh, maximum we hit today is 24. 24? What's the highest? Till now it's 24. Um, so it's it's a very good stream. Today it's overall it's a very good day. I mean, so maybe you stream Carpe Venom or Honey Badgers. That is true. You'll get stuff. I must admit today, it's since 2 p.m., uh, I've gotten 50-50. 37, 42, 73, and now we're at 12 uh, views per hour, which is amazing. The oats weren't here, broke. No, the chosen swordsman. The, o the oats weren't broke through and are fighting these flaxmen, charging the flaxmen, which are getting absolutely wrecked. Celtic warriors are being pulled back. These guys can't even pull back anymore because they are engaged by Libyan infantry and are going to get surrounded by more Libyan infantry from the rear. The retreat is en masse. The general of, uh, noble swords unit is engaged with Samite warriors. And Samite Warriors will trade really well against uh, that unit, especially since they're, uh, you know, getting around it. These Flaxmen, oh, I mean, look at this. Look at them falling. Yeah, just letting them get shot, it's just terrible. Those are Libyan Peltasts, oof. These guys still have ammunition, damn. All right, yeah, those guys broke. It's a full-on retreat now. Um, it's pretty much the defenders cheap. are not playing this very well. They did not know. I had, uh, like at the start I had hopes that they were going to play differently, but they ended up making the same mistake, just at a different area. The now, problem with Carthage is if there's so many defensible locations, it's hard to tell when to fall back. Yeah, exactly. And But you start falling back when you notice you're trading very badly, that's it. That's the basis of it. These light, la, these light uh, cavalry keeping the Skeltic Warriors in place while these Oats won't come in to try and capture them and that will be incredible. These Torx... Yeah, I don't see the attackers... Oh, sorry, the defenders having enough. They have two units of Oats worn. Uh, one of them is all like barely engaged. They have number team pikes with 70 of them, so half unit. A full unit of Chosen Swords. Uh, Gallic Hunters, which are still mostly full ammo. Gallic Hunters, which are not full ammo. Uh, actually, no ammo. One horse unit, and they're missing two generals. No, they're missing a general, which because this general got caught here. And if it's rear charged by Semite, it's going to do a lot. The spear horse over here getting rear shot by those uh, carrion X-Men, which are now getting bombarded again by this ballista from over there, but that's not going to do that much damage as there was no hold over there. Um, this rear charge is going to do um, a lot. These mercenary Semites are just going to be absolutely crazy. Yeah, this is really not looking good for the defenders. I mean, frank, frank, speaking frankly, uh, there's no hope for the defenders at this point. Oh, there is. There's no hope. <laughs> the oats warns. There's too much defense. There's no holding for 14 minutes against this. Yeah. There's only Arveni left, because even Nabatea is breaking. Army losses have kicked in. The general's about to die. 
Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the general just took a massive beating there. It's wavering army losses. Did charge into this one and get a couple kills? There's a pull through. There was what? no pull through. Oh, okay. Let me go check this. I'll be right back, guys. They're talking about the O's. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, um, not, not, nothing happened. It's just under discussing the Oatsworn uh, general over there. Wasn't a full stream. We were watching it. Um, but now army losses have hit in. And uh, it's, I think this is GG. Uh, now, which uh, 12 minutes left. It's faster than last time. Uh, the chosen swordsman over here didn't even stand a chance. Uh, they're... Yeah, these uh, Scutari are damaged. Oh, it's a pity that the <laughs> there are actually units which haven't fought in this game. There are units which haven't even engaged. Yeah, so many units. Which is insane. Do you think about it? Torx swordsman. Uh, wait, there's a unit out here of Celtic warriors which is just chilling out here for cotton. Yeah, this was an absolute rackaroony. The o turn over here will hold for like a little bit, but Gallic Hunter is being... Yeah, exactly. And it's GG. Copper wins, so what's up? <laughs> Thanks, Leonides. Of course, Copper wins. <laughs> they played fantastic. Honestly, the, the game they played today was absolutely crazy. Carry an X-Men general. Okay, now it's the meme. Thank you for the subscription, uh, Leotards. Uh, Leopard. Leopard TS. Okay, that, that's why I couldn't really understand the word. Uh, Carry and X-Men are dying fast. <laughs> but mostly, if you see, it's like they're getting so many of their own Pila thrown into their ear. Like this guy got a Pila to the head. Yeah, the oats weren't broke. And it's GG. That is Dylan. How are you, you? I won't say your full name. Well, that's... That's over. Uh, Greece, I agree with you. I mean, it doesn't really matter in, in this case because they were absolutely trashing, but, you know, just checking it to make sure everything is okay. It's... You know, I'm trying to be as fair as possible. <laughs> he is a cheeky bastard. It's a traditional name, where are you from? Where are you from, man? The Oatsworn General over here getting abs... I mean, did get 200 kills, but uh, now he's getting absolutely wrecked. Wreckeroonied. The General... Uh, these Oatsworn, they're retreating, they're not breaking yet. These guys do not want to die. Yeah, that's pretty much over. Hiding? Where are they hiding? Oh, come on! <laughs> they, they, they actually hit their general outside. You're right. They're still gonna lose the time. Yeah. I do sense a little bit of... Uh, Stress from the situation, trying to be as uh, fair and polite as possible about it. it. Was a fantastic assault. 
Oh god. You're back? Alright, as long as you behave, you're fine to stay. And they're routing from on the walls. Just... I mean, it's GG. Yeah. Alright. Oh, we're shooting up. We just went up 10 subs in total. Damn. Friendly Crusader knowing his stuff. That is the match. Hey, uh, how are you, Amplitude? Leopard, you're not. Do not believe her. What are they doing? Oh no. What is this? <laughs> oh, sorry, I just screamed into the mic there. Yeah, I mean they're playing cat and mouse. Oh, the Arvani general came back as well. We don't know if uh, Essence was here, what he would be doing. There would be no coming back if Essence yeah. was here. Yep. Alright, well... Uh, uh, so that game's a you have 35 alt accounts? Jesus Christ. Bro, how many phone numbers do you have? You need a phone number to create all those. You can only use one phone number for three accounts. Well, someone has 35 volt accounts. Okay. It's funny because oh, I'm, uh, you. I am... Oh, you're off? See you, Dylan. Take care. Yep. Let's see the kills. Uh, two tier sub factions with three most powerful. Uh, well, okay, Agent Panda over here, overall good kills, yeah, the, the defense didn't do well, as you can see their kill to death ratio is terrible, they didn't trade very well, their missiles all traded badly, um, I think that was the main issue, and also their units were much weaker, um, Disclaimable doing really well with his Oatsworn, overall, I think Disclaimable did the best here, yeah. alright, Dylan left. <laughs> He's actually doesn't have a PC right now, so it's quite different for him. Oh man, picking on each other. So guys, um, in around 10 minutes, I'm going to go live doing multiplayer battles. Um, you're all welcome to join, and uh, we can have a good time there. Uh, for everyone who's here, thank you for dropping in, to come to watch this. It was a blast, and thanks for you know all your time. I just had to, to, to heavily you lose yeah you need to balance between boats you need to balance between boats I agree I'm not ending the stream I'm starting a new one uh, you and uh, yeah I mean overall this was a very very good game and they've both both teams did really well okay you and essence challenge anyone for the stream I'll tell you what I'll tell you what we'll do Greece you and essence I'll just host you guys I won't play I'll just observe and I'll just be here chatting while you guys do whatever you want. 2v2s. Land battles only. Hey Daniel, how are you doing? Greece, do you agree with that? You can play, Amelia. Alright guys, I'm gonna... Close this and I'll be back with you in 10 minutes. See you soon, guys. Take care.